right, check it out, folks. Barrels of booze, that's right. We got whiskey here, and it's called Cleveland whiskey. And we wouldn't have Cleveland whiskey without Tom right here. And this is sort of a new deal. I remember, like, Cleveland golf clubs, we had mm -hmm. Cleveland Indians, right, right. Cleveland Browns, but Cleveland whiskey. This is Cleveland whiskey, yes. That's a long shot, right? Well, some have said so, yeah. yeah. Some, uh, some have said it's impossible, but we're making it happen. So, I know the, there's a, the popularity of distilling, it, it's becoming more prevalent. More and more people are doing it. it what drove you to it, and what made you think this is a great idea here? Well, you know, uh, this isn't just a distillery, but it's an aging facility, and we do that differently. So we've got something, we've got some technology that we invented here in Cleveland that accelerates the aging, makes so, for a better taste. So 20 a years. Of time. So 20 years you can do it. How long? Yeah, forget 20 years. Age is irrelevant. Uh, the whiskey we're putting out now, uh, on, right there on the bottle, it says it's six months old, and it really That's is. That's beautiful. It's actually, yeah, it's pretty young. It's like you have to wait three more months for a baby. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so do we have uh, whiskey in these barrels? There is whiskey in these barrels. This, very, in this is very young whiskey in these barrels. Uh -huh. But we actually take it out of the barrels and we put it in stainless steel pressure capable containers. And is that and these things? No, that well, yes, actually, that's some. Of, this is some of the experimental stuff that we're doing. The stuff that we're actually using is behind those curtains back there, and we didn't show anybody that. That's our intellectual property. Are you telling me you're the Frankenstein of whiskey? You don't have to think about whether I like that or not, but you could see uh, there's no lightning coming down, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Let's check this out. I always see, I remember seeing those French pot stills in, sure. in some of the places, and this sort of reminds me that this, uh, is this your distilling yeah, area? This is our, this is our still, although we really use this more for uh, creating our recipes. Uh -huh. So we make our recipes here in terms of the grain and the temperatures and where we make our cuts. So rather than a small craft distillery, we actually do much more volume because we create the recipes here. This is the sort of stuff that comes off. Uh, this is a uh, bourbon mash. It's 125 proof. We made this here. You can smell that. It's a little strong, <laughs> but 80% of the flavor in a whiskey comes from the wood. Yeah. So what we've come up with a technology that allows us to get more flavor out of that wood by essentially using pressure. We take we take bourbon that's very young bourbon out of a barrel, put it in a pressure-capable stainless steel container, and apply pressure. And we do it very frequently, and we do it over and over again. You know, Colonel Sanders did that with chicken, and it worked out great for worked him. Worked out pretty good. Yeah. yeah. He pressure-cooked his chicken, you're exactly. pressure cooked his Exactly, and it made for a really good taste. So yeah. that's what we try to do. So uh, what's with the Knob Creek bottle? So, you know, we've, we've done, we follow the Cleveland Challenge. We go out, we do blind taste tests with individual consumers. We've done over 1,700 blind taste tests. And on average, about 58% of the people prefer our brand over Knob Creek. And this is a good brand. I like this whiskey. But this, what I'm giving you here now, that's some, that's some Cleveland whiskey. It's 100 proof. I should tell you that before you taste it. <laughs> that's good. So let's go check out the bottling area. This is good yeah. stuff. Good, good. We, uh... Uh, as of a couple weeks ago, we were shipping about a thousand bottles a week. Now we're shipping two thousand bottles a week. Who's buying it, and where can you get it? Uh, mostly right here in the Cleveland metropolitan area. Uh -huh. We're going to start shipping a little bit further away, but right here, uh, especially now that we're doing two thousand bottles a week, uh, it flies off the shelves. It sells out every week. That is terrific. This and is it's good. And you know what? I'm sure it's good if people are, they come back and yeah, buy it again. Yeah. But you know, I remember I saw, I saw white lightning and moonshine down down south on the Lexington Bourbon Trail. You know, right, right. And uh, it's white. And then when they say the bourbon, the color, color comes from the wood. Does all the color come from the wood here? All the color comes from the wood. In a, in a whiskey, in a bourbon, it comes from the wood, and 80% of the flavor comes from that wood as well. How cool is that? I mean, I never thought in a million years I'd see a bottle of whiskey, a bottle of bourbon that says Cleveland on it. Well, and I'm I'm looking, yeah. Here's one we actually opened. So this is uh, this is our bottle. This is and you can call this bourbon whiskey. Yes, yes, it is bourbon whiskey. If you go to Kentucky, they like to say it has to be made in Kentucky. That's not true. You can make it in any state in the country, and uh, it has to be made in America. It does have to be aged for a short period of time in a new American oak char barrel. So that's what we do. But most of our aging is done in our pressure tanks. Okay, folks, which one do you want? Door one, door two, yeah, or yeah. door three? <laughs> So we can get this at the state store then? Yes, you can. Okay, clear yeah, whiskey. It's in, it's in more and more restaurants and bars, and uh, people are liking it, so Tom, it's good. There's one thing missing on this bottle. Don't you think he should have his picture on this bottle? Well, I got my signature on it. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Darn good. Cleveland whiskey, thank you, man. Hey, my pleasure. Appreciate thank it. You.